Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Eileen, and you are watching Hustle and Slow, where I talk all about making money from home, entrepreneurship, being a work at home mom, and a lot about reselling. So I resell on eBay and Poshmark. Today I'm gonna go over how to ship on Poshmark. I'm gonna go over all the different free boxes you can get from USPS to use to ship on Poshmark, and also how to log into your account and actually find that shipping label so that you can print it and put it on your package and get that item shipped. So if you wanna know about shipping on Poshmark, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the free boxes that you can get from USPS. Um, they have tons of free boxes that you can use if you ship priority mail, and all Poshmark packages go out using priority mail so you can use those USPS boxes. The first thing I wanna mention is that your buyer pays for shipping on Poshmark unless you offer a shipping discount. All you have to do is log into your Poshmark account and print that shipping label once that item is sold. Now, once that item is sold, you're going to be shipping that item through USPS Priority Mail. Um, you're just gonna print the label and put it on a package. You can either use any package packaging of your choice, any boxes or envelopes that aren't spe specified for a different carrier or a different type of shipping. Like if you just buy your own blank um, boxes or bags, or you can also use the free USPS Priority Mail shipping supplies, which I prefer to do because that's cheaper for me, which means more money for me, right? So I'm going to show you the different supplies. I'm not gonna show you everything that's available because there are so many different boxes that they offer, but I'm going to show you the ones that I use most often. All right, so there are several different kinds of envelopes, and I do wanna start by saying that I prefer to use cardboard and paper because in my mind that's more eco-friendly than anything plastic. Um, so while I love the bubble envelope when I'm shipping on eBay because it's cheap and it kind of protects the item a little bit, I don't love using it for Poshmark if I don't need to, so I try not to use that. Um, the other options are the Tyvek envelope, which I also love for shipping on eBay because it's really lightweight. Um, but on Poshmark, it doesn't matter because um, unless you're selling something heavy or a lot of stuff that ends up being heavy because your label only goes up to five pounds. If your item weighs or your package weighs more than five pounds, you need to buy additional shipping through Poshmark, which I will also show you um, in a little bit as well. So this is great if you're trying to reduce that shipping, like maybe if you're at five pounds and one ounce, see if you can throw it in this. Um, if you have it in a box and you can throw it in this, it might save you some weight. Um, but the other two envelopes are the flat rate envelope and the legal flat rate envelope. They're basically the same thing, one's just a little bit longer than the other. Um, and these are both made of cardboard and we use these once in a while for like um, either jeans or tops and stuff that kind of will kind of stay nicely in this because it is cardboard. Um, I don't feel like you should put anything in here that um, might bust through the cardboard or anything like that. So these are gonna be easier than boxes to put in um, like your mailbox or for your carrier to pick up. So um, this might be better. You can also use your own poly mailers if you'd like to. Those are also plastic, um, but you can use these if you like. Now this box is the small flat rate box. I think that you can also buy it without saying flat rate, but on Poshmark you can use flat rate envelopes. Um, they do have a deal with USPS where you can use the flat rate items even if you're not shipping flat rate. So that's something to keep in mind. So this is a the small flat rate box and it is kind of tricky to get to fold up because you kind of have to fold it around the item um, like this and then you like use this adhesive strip and you pull it and you tape it down. Um, I like to use these when I can, but I do put an extra piece of tape because I feel like it doesn't stick perfectly well. Um, I am a little nervous about that. So this is good for like really small tops or even like jewelry that you've bubble wrapped or anything small you could put in this box. And then the two boxes, the two larger boxes that I use the most are the shoe box um, and the medium flat rate box. So I'm gonna show you the shoe box first. Um, the shoe box is shaped like this. Let me see if I can get it to pop open. Um, it is shaped like this and you kind of just fold in the sides. And sometimes if you're selling shoes that are new in the box, they will actually slide right into the shoe box. Um, this is good for larger shoes. Um, yeah, but I prefer using this medium flat rate box for everything. Um, it just folds in at the side. You do have to tape this shut yourself. It doesn't have the adhesive that some of the others have 
already but the reason I like it is because it is bigger so if you're selling sending something that is a little bit bigger um, you can put it in here if you're selling like a bundle then you can put it in here as well but also if you are selling shoes it looks nicer in this kind of like laid out like it's in a regular shoe box then it would kind of jumbled around in that longer shoe box so it really just depends on the item you're selling um, what you want to use so kind of just Go with your preference you'll kind of figure out what works for you but these are the free supplies from usps that i prefer to use i will link below to the usps website where they have all that free priority mail supplies um, but now i'm going to head over the computer and show you my screen and walk you through um, finding your poshmark label and printing it as well as some of the settings that you can work on and how to buy extra shipping if your item is more than five pounds all right, so we are in Poshmark and you made a sale. So the first thing you wanna do is print that shipping label. So you're going to go up here to your little face and you're going to go to my sales. Once you're there, you can find the item that has sold. You can see this says order status sold. This one down here says shipped and this one says delivered. So these have all already been shipped. Um, so we're gonna click on this item and then you're going to see all the information about your um, sale that you made. And down here at the bottom, you're gonna see download shipping label. So you're gonna click that and it is going, you're gonna click download. Um, you can also find the label in your email, but I find it easier if I have several packages to ship out to just do it through Poshmark and you click download and it will download for you as a PDF. So I'm gonna click that so you can see what that looks like. And this is what it looks like because I print with a label printer, so it's a four by six label. But I will show you how to do it if you're just printing on plain paper or on um, one of those two labels per sheet pieces of paper that are the size of a normal sheet of paper. One other thing I wanna show you is if your item or your bundle of items is over five pounds, you will need to purchase more or a heavier label. So you're gonna click over here where it says new shipping label and you're gonna click need heavier weight label. And then from there, it's going to say your prepay label supports up to five pounds. If you have an overweight package, you have to pay for an extra fee. And then you just select the weight that you need here. Um, so you can see that's exactly how you do that if you need a heavier label. So just keep that in mind when you're doing bundles or selling items that are heavier that you are gonna have to pay a little bit more to ship those items. Now, if you wanna change those settings um, for your shipping labels, just go to account settings. And if you scroll down, you're going to see shipping label settings. And it's very simple. If you're going to be printing on eight and a half by 11 paper, you select this one um, and confirm and you leave it like that. And I will show you what that looks like as well. So we're going to sales, we're gonna click on the sale and then we're gonna click download shipping label click download and this is our label and it's going to print it right in the middle of the sheet um, so if you have a piece of paper that's fine but if you have um, one of those two page or two labels per page sheets or if you want to just be a little bit more eco-friendly with your um, printing then here's a trick for you all right so what you're gonna do is um, you can see that the label is going past that halfway point so you cannot fit two labels on one sheet um, so what you can do is you can go to scale and yours is gonna probably look a little bit different but somewhere there should be a place where you can change the scale or the size and you can go to custom and you can change it and it's usually about 70 or 80 percent 70 percent looks a little too small so probably about 80 percent um, will make it so that only prints on half of the sheet so you have the other half available. Another option would be to um, screenshot it and put it into a document like a pages or a word document and then print it that way so that it only prints on one side. All right, so that's everything I have to tell you about shipping on Poshmark. Hopefully this is making it a little bit easier for you to figure out um, how to get your items shipped when they sell on Poshmark. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if you want to see more videos from me about working from home and reselling, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.